What's up guys, it's Grant, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the uppercut. Baby, hit it. What's up guys, so before we get into the tutorial, I just have kind of like a quick announcement. Uh, basically, today is episode 45 of Tutorial Tuesday, and I decided that I'm going to stop kind of making it like an official... And I've decided that I'm going to kind of stop making it an official series at 50 episodes. So I wanted to let you guys know this, I guess this five episodes in advance or whatever. If you guys want to see specific tutorials or anything, just uh, let me know in the comment section down below or send me a message or whatever, just so that I can get those in before I guess like the series kind of comes to an end. Uh, of course, obviously I'm gonna still be giving you guys, you know, like I guess like tips and tricks or whatever you want to call it with the bow, uh, but I've decided I'm just gonna end the series off or end the Tutorial Tuesday series off at 50 episodes. Uh, I think that would be a good spot to end it rather than just like a random number or something like that. So thank you to everybody who's been watching it so far and uh, hopefully I can get some good episodes out for the last one. But that's it, so let's get into how to do the uppercut. So to show you guys, I'm gonna start from just a forward strike, just in a front stance. You can do an uppercut from, I guess, a couple different spots, but I'm just gonna be showing you this because it's like the original way that I've learned it. So I think it'll be easiest for you guys to learn it in that same way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at the end of the bow here. So what I wanna do is I wanna start lifting that end of the bow upwards and it's going up and I'm just gonna start going towards my left side. So it's gonna keep going up and it's gonna drop all the way back down as you can see. And it's gonna come back up this way and then you can still see that tip is gonna go to the other side, so your right side of your body down. And as it's at about this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step back with my right leg into a lady stance. If you don't know how to do a lady stance, it kind of looks like this. That's just, I guess, the name of the move or whatever. And it's kind of the most common uh, stance that we go in my style for uppercuts. So that's what I'm sure you guys gonna do. So basically, I just stand like this. My foot's tilted this way with my left leg. My right leg is out behind me, kind of on a 45 degree angle, and I'm bending down a little bit and twisting sideways. So when I step back and do that, I'm just gonna lift the bow up just like this. And literally just do an uppercut as you would if you were normally doing it with just your hand like this. Except obviously your wrist is turned a little bit because you're doing it with the bow. Now two major things, don't leave it out too far because if you leave it out too far, somebody can grab it and pull it away from you because you don't have good control over it. And also obviously if you're too close to your face, if somebody hits your arm, you're just going to be punching yourself in the face, which obviously you don't want to So again, from the punch, starting right from here, the end of the bow, we're watching it go up and down on the left side. And as you can see, I'm not keeping my hands out like this the entire time. My left hand kind of slides in a little bit closer so I can do what is essentially a backwards figure eight. So it goes up and down on the left side, it keeps going out, down, down on the right side to get to this point. You don't actually stop at this spot, this is just where you start to move. You can step back and do the uppercut and just bring it up. Okay. So as you can see, my left hand is kind of still at the same spot it would be if I was in a forward strike or a punch, so it's still kind of on where my belt would be or where my hip is. And that hand is out here just like this, doing pretty much basically the same thing as an uppercut, except that wrist is twist, right? So one more time, decent speed. I'm gonna go from here. Bow goes up and down on the left side, up and down on the right side, step, and then hang. So as you can see, I'm not actually stopping this, right, to step back, but it's more like I'm gonna keep going, and then once I know it's at that spot, that's when you start to step back. One time, kind of half speed, and that's your uppercut. You guys were asking for basic tutorials, so this is what I decided to do for today. Hopefully it's basic enough. Uh, I guess it is kind of one of the super common moves or at least it's super common in my style. So guys, again, if you have any moves or any tricks or anything you wanna see with the bow in tutorial videos for the last couple episodes, feel free to let me know. Obviously comment section, sending me a message, however you wanna do it, just let me know and I'll try my best to make it a tutorial in one of the last episodes. So that's basically it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.